November 24, 2013. These are the newest Sechi A images that they processed. You've got Inky in the middle and iSun coming up behind it there. Now, you notice that iSun is now appearing to be under Mercury. It's actually much further on the other side of it, about 25 million miles. Now, Inky is very close to Mercury. They're still giving, giving us these dimensions, 4.8 kilometers for Inky, 3.5 kilometer diameter on iSun. They're saying Inky is larger, but let's look at the stereo placement on the two JPLs from today. Bottom is iSun, top is Inky. Notice Inky is just next to Mercury, right there, just passed under it. iSun is back closer to Earth. Now, how would you determine that distance? Go to your JPL, <clears throat> excuse me, your iSun 3D guys. Go straight up, just like the JPL does. Click on Mercury. It will give you the distance from iSun today at 25 million miles. Notice also they've got this iSun. The iSun may break apart on perihelium up now. And by looking at the distance and the difference in the size, and you're going to tell me that Inky is smaller, is larger than Icon. Inky is 25 million miles closer to this camera than Icon, but Icon is supposed to be smaller. I say BS, guys. The camera's not lying to us. But you can pause this or rewind it and look at a certain section and pause it, guys, if I went too fast on any of this. But it's important to understand what I'm trying to show here again these go up to the 22nd notice that again inky is given they've known that i sign is smaller but 25 million miles further away from this camera notice also the green path of inky even though it appears to be headed at the sun that's the solar stream blowing it back but it's actually coming closer to the camera it's not going to dive into the sun but again I, we can only go so far and with these deep waiting boots on, with this theory on the size of this comet. Now, look at the sun today. Tell me which side you think the comets are approaching on. You guys have watched my videos. You know it's coming in on the right. Look at the difference in the glow. Look at the difference in the activity, man. This thing is exploding on the right side. No X flares yet. I say yet because this is the new information. Look at 1904 and 1899 together. See that on the right side? That gives you alpha, beta, and gamma. And they're jumping and looping towards each other. You understand what I'm saying? We have the possibility for another X flare. What that would do is strip the comets, put increased pressure on the inside, the nucleus, or the multiple objects, whatever's left remaining in it, and you saw the video yesterday, there's definitely at least three, one big one, two small ones. So that chance of any more flares will only put more pressure on it. Plus, it will build pressure on the sun, and we have a couple spots that are turning towards us also. Notice how big that big spot is that was centered Earth just a few, few days ago. It doesn't is not getting any smaller since it has turned and that electrical connection with the eye sun that you saw there with that bow shock. They're hooking back up. Now this is just a brief update, guys, and I'm doing a video that we were we've been talking about uh, about the communication during a blackout. It's coming up. I just want to get this update up this morning. Be safe.